Hey, this is Jim, um, and I'm just uh, going to give a quick reply to uh, Veritas's 48, uh, uh, his four, five questions, uh, redo, I guess. Uh, what would I say to God if, uh, if uh, it turns out when I died, I was in, in a judgment situation? Um, well, uh, two things, first of all. Uh, the first thing I'd ask him is, look, why would you use the Bible uh, as your choice of message? I mean, it's, it's the worst possible way for any deity uh, to instruct or inspire people. Language changes far too much over time uh, to uh, to be useful, and it's, the message is lost through the ages. Uh, second, if you know, I'd ask him if, it, if the Bible is uh, correct as far as a history or, or things that he's done or commanded or whatnot, and if it was true, I'd just call him an asshole at that point and be demanded to sent to hell. I don't want to be around a person like that. I, I, I think the God of the Bible is just blatantly evil. Um, what evidence would I need to convert? Well, that's a tough one. Um, he'd really have to show himself and legitimately prove his power and his dominion. No parlor tricks, verifiable demonstrations of power. Um, no hearsay, no Benny Hinn touch you and knock you down to the floor crud. Um, you know, maybe restoring the limbs of an amputee. I mean, that might be a start, considering uh, that's never happened. Um, maybe bring George Washington or Abraham Lincoln or somebody like that back to life. That that would be uh, verifiable in to some respects. Uh, but even then, you know, I'd still be skeptical because Clark's third law is quite simple that uh, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic and that would hold true for him too uh, how do I know he is who he says he is even if he's doing these wild things um, it's just it'd be more than I'd be, I'd be skeptical let's put it that way is the new atheist movement helpful um, to some respects I think it is uh, theists who refuse to understand the reality of evolution uh, or refuse to deny creationism or intelligent design should be ridiculed uh, if they refuse to be educated on the subject uh, or even refuse to pick up a book and learn something about it. Um, I'm sick and tired of this, this, the, the same crap over and over again of, uh, you know, it's just a theory or uh, there's no transitional fossils or any of this other crud. Uh, it's, it's, it's there. Pick up a book and learn it. Um, if, if you won't be educated on it, you won't try to learn it, you should be ridiculed. But it should be a last resort. It should be a last resort. Uh, how does atheism direct my choices in life? Uh, very little. Uh, I'm, I'm reluctant to vote for uh, religious politicians who believe in creationism or deny evolution. But then again, usually what's the alternative? Um, other than that, very little. Uh, what's important to me as an atheist, true beliefs or false belief, or avoiding false beliefs? Um, I, I think they're sort of the same in a way. Um, by looking out and rooting out the false beliefs, you gain what's true. Uh, and what's true is probably what's most important, but you got to be careful you don't fall for the, for the BS. Um, and speaking as a, as a former Christian, one of 20 plus years, um, there's a lot of BS in there, a, a tremendous amount. Um, and I think if you start reading the Bible critically, with a critical mind, you're going to see that. And then, you know, crack open a science book from time to time. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not going to kill you. So I'm going to send you, God, if God will send you to hell because you opened up a science book, you'd want to follow that God. <laughs> I mean, what's, what's wrong with exploring some alternatives? What's wrong with exploring your horizons a little bit? If that's evil, and God thinks that's evil, then God's evil. Other than that, uh, that's about all i got to say. Uh, have a good weekend.